we have arrived at our campsite in Crowdy Bay, but it was a bit of an ordeal to get here. The kangaroos have multiplied overnight. We're now overrun with them. We were warned that there might be snakes out today, so now I'm being <laughs> hyper vigilant. Every vine looks like a snake. We've arrived in Byron Bay. It's so nice here. We're James and Amy, and we recently quit our jobs to travel for a year. A bit rainy. After spending three months in New Zealand, we're now in Australia. Join us as we road trip up the East Coast from Sydney to Cairns. We have arrived at our campsite in Crowdy Bay. We're staying at a campsite called Diamond Head Campground, which is right next to the beach. It's a really nice campsite, but it was a bit of an ordeal to get here. The last 15 or so kilometers took us along this gravelly, unsealed road that was full of potholes, and it ended up taking us almost an hour due to how slow we had to go. But we're here now, and the campsite is really nice, and we were greeted by a few local residents This is our spot here. We've got our table set up and our chairs. And just over there is the beach. just had our dinner and now we're walking down to the beach for sunset. It's such a nice beach and our campsite is just on the other side of this mound. There's nothing more calming than the sound of the sea and warm air. It's so nice here. This place feels quite different from Shoal Bay where we just were. It's a lot more remote and pretty much empty. The thing about the East Coast is that the sun is always setting behind you, so you don't actually get to see the sunset. But if you're lucky, you get really nice colours like this. Kangaroos have multiplied overnight. We're now overrun with them. There's a big old male here. Don't want to get too close to him. loop track which is a four and a half kilometer loop around Diamond Head. We've only been going a few minutes and already the views are amazing. You can see the beach down there behind me and ahead we can see the top of Diamond Head. It may have been an error not starting until 11 o'clock. It's starting to get really hot but if we get too hot we can just turn around and get in the sea.
just followed the coast all the way around until we reached Kylie's point, which was the furthest point from our campsite. And now we're starting to loop back round through the forest, which will take us all the way back to our campsite. That section was really nice. There was such nice views of the sea and the beach in the distance. We're back at the campsite now. That was a really nice walk, but it is hot. So I think we're gonna jump in the sea. In we go. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> We've now left Crowdy Bay and come to Dorigo National Park, which is a subtropical rainforest just an hour from Coffs Harbour where we're staying. Today we are doing the Wonga Walk, which is a six kilometre loop track through the rainforest. It's so weird driving just an hour from the coast to a rainforest, and it's a lot cooler here as well. I think we came up around 800 metres in elevation during our drive. We were warned that there might be snakes out today and we did see a baby one on the path a bit earlier. So now I'm being <laughs> hyper vigilant with where we're stepping. Every vine looks like a snake. So this tree here is a strangler fig and basically what it does is it wraps itself around a host tree until it's completely covered it and then the inside tree will die leaving behind these vines. So that's why it's completely empty in the middle, it's just an empty shell. We've now come to this platform right above the canopy. So cool. Dorigo National Park, you were very nice. We've arrived in Byron Bay and checked into our campsite. We've got this really nice spot under a tree. We're staying in First Sun Holiday Park in Byron Bay. So now we're gonna go and head into town and explore a bit. We've also got baby bush turkeys running around our campsite. They're so small. campsite is just up there and there's a walkway that leads you through to the beach. It's looking a little bit grey over there though, so it might start raining soon. It's so hot today, so we've sliced ourselves up some watermelon.
pancake day today, so Amy's cooking up some pancakes in the campsite kitchen. It's a very good recipe. What's in it? Uh, flour, oat milk, maple syrup, salt. They're supposed to have baking powder in it, but we don't have any. These are the best vegan pancakes I've had. Pancake time. We just walked to the Cape Byron Lighthouse. Our campsite's somewhere over there in Byron Bay. We walked all the way along this coast and then up to here. And here is the lighthouse. And then inwards. Yeah. There you go. Touching the top. <laughs> <laughs> Just down there is the most easterly point in mainland Australia and there's loads of marine life going on down there. We saw three manta rays, a huge pod of dolphins and I'm pretty sure I also spotted a turtle in the water. All within a tiny spot. It's very cool. We've just packed up our van and now we're getting ready to leave Byron Bay and head to our next destination, which is Lamington National Park. And that's actually across the border in Queensland, which means that today is our last day in New South Wales. The other interesting thing is that as we cross into Queensland, we're actually going to be crossing a time zone. So we're actually going to gain an hour as we pass the border, which is quite cool as well. I really hope you've enjoyed watching these videos from New South Wales. Our next video is going to be in Queensland, which should be really exciting. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. We've swapped our camper van for a kayak and we're going to be spending the next two days camping out in the Noosa Everglades. We have made it to the rainforest. I think we must be the first people to walk this path today as I'm constantly getting spider's webs in the face. We are now in the Glasshouse Mountains and today we are climbing up Mount Gungun. We've made it to the top and the views are so good.